So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil19 here and today in this video we do have another toy haul and unboxing video for you. I did also get a poster and something else in the mail so we'll look at this little accessory that I got for a figure in the mail here. And I did get this from eBay and this is a, it's like a um, cloth black cloak and I got this for uh, the Last Jedi SH Figure Arts Kylo, Kylo Ren figure that I have. It's not exactly what he wears, but it is kind of... Oh, actually, it is what he wears. Yeah, this is what he wears. Uh, he does wear, like, a little cloak that just, like, drapes over his shoulders in The Last Jedi. So, decided to pick this up for uh, the Last Jedi SH Figure Arts Kylo Ren figure that I have. I wonder if this is... Bendy wire. Yes, it is bendy wire. It's pretty cool looking, actually. It's made out of a nice material, too. So that is one thing that I did get in the mail there. And then something else that I got, I did get a poster here. Hup. Fell right out. Oh, this poster is actually bigger than I thought it'd be. That's what she said. All right, so let's see what poster we got here. Oh wow, this is actually a really big poster, kind of like my Madara Uchiha one, so I need to get another frame for this one. And it is a Kenshin poster, actually him as a Batosai, because he does have the uh, blue gi on right there. And this is actually a really dope picture. This is the uh, this is my wallpaper on one of my laptops. But a pretty cool looking poster right there. Can't wait to frame it and hang it up in one of my rooms, either my review room or in my bedroom. So that's the two little things I got there. And then for the two figures that I got in the mail that did come in one box. Let's put that over there. And this right here I did get from agelessgeeks.com. And these two figures I already did review already. So the review should pop up once I show you guys the figures after I unbox them here. So let's see what we got from siragelessgeeks.com. Right, get rid of that pack and paper. And these are from my Mint and Box collection. So the first figure here, I did get another SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan God Goku. Because as of right now, this is hands down my favorite Goku figure that they've made in the SH Figure Arts DBZ line. I think they really did a fantastic job with this figure. And it, it shows in it. that You could tell that they added more paintwork in it. It's just I wish she was included with maybe a little more accessories, a blast effect or something like that. But it is such a dope figure. If you haven't gotten it yet... It is in stock right now at agelessgeeks.com along with Shenron as well. And I believe he just got Madara Uchi in stock also. So if you're looking for any one of those three figures, head over to agelessgeeks.com today. So that is one of the figures I got in the mail. And the next figure here, I kind of regret getting a double for my Mint and Box collection. I mean, he is one of my favorite characters from one of my favorite anime. But, um... The figure that I did get had so many QC issues, and then after getting it, I kind of regretted getting another one for my Mint and Box collection, but whatever, I guess. I guess I have another one here. Oh, and he sent me two other random things. But uh, I did get another Variable Action Heroes, Pass Blue, Rowan Oazoro, and he is my favorite character from One Piece. I, I'm pretty sure he is. It's either him or Luffy. They're just two of my most favorite characters from anything. And I mean, I guess after having it, it is cool that I do also have this version of Zoro now in my Mitten Box collection. I'm just curious if the alternate bandana head does have the same issue that the first uh, past Blue Rono Zoro I got has if it has that issue as well with that one so i'm very curious about that because i know a lot of people had that issue with the uh, alternate bandana head some people didn't have that issue at all but i know a lot of people did so i guess pretty cool that i did get that and i just noticed there's two other things in the box here i'm thinking i could use them uh for the giveaway because i recently did give one of them away so let's see ageless geeks just randomly sent me these and if you guys know, I just gave away, these are some custom uh, pink blast effects here. And I actually just gave away my yellow one. So maybe I could give these away um, on my next giveaway when I hit 15,000 subscribers. So one person can each win one of these. And they're really dope effects. They have some very nice uh, coloring to it. Nice sculpting on them. 
pretty cool looking and they're pretty much identical i mean probably not exactly identical but close enough so pretty cool that he sent me these he didn't even tell me he sent me these but uh yeah, definitely cool. Thank you very much, Ageless Ageless Ski Geeks. Appreciate you sending me these two <laughs> drumsticks from Kentucky Fried Chicken that got spray painted pink. I don't know why I kept doing that, like I was playing the drums or something. But yeah, I think I'll give these away in uh, my 15,000 subscriber giveaway contest video. So very cool of Ageless Geeks to randomly send me these. But anyway, guys, that is my quick toy haul and unboxing video for you i hope you enjoyed it if you would like to support the channel don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell and if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it just give it a thumbs up anyway because action figures are awesome but thanks for watching i will see you later